Hey guys, check out this problem I found. Ah, but that's not all. I've also found this. And this. And this. Every model in the map, if hit enough times, develops a purple square around it. And this is becoming more noticeable as maps become increasingly full of models, since more and more surfaces will display this issue if hit enough. So what's going on here? Every time you hit the surface, a decal image is added to it. As more and more of these are added to the same area, they're all still shown at the same time, which multiplies their colours. And this only gets more intense every time another decal is added to that area. So the black bits of the decal get blacker, the greener bits get greener, and so on. As for the square that forms, this is the full size of the decal image, because these decal textures are square in shape. Most of this is meant to be transparent, but it turns out that it isn't entirely transparent. And its imperfections are only exacerbated as more and more decals are added together. Why do some grey bits turn green? Why do other grey bits turn red? And why is there a purple square around it? The answer to all this is colour compression. Compression is used all the time with computers. It's done a lot online to save on your data. Almost every image we see is compressed to some extent. Blocky JPEG images are an infamous example of it going a bit too far. YouTube at the lowest 144p setting is another. This is all done to reduce file sizes and bandwidth requirements, which is important on the internet. The colour compression used in Counter-Strike makes file sizes smaller, which makes the game smaller to download. And then it saves on the VRAM usage too, because not all of us are lucky enough to have a graphics card with 16GB of VRAM. One example of colour compression in CSGO is DXT. DXT1, for instance, drops the colour accuracy from 888 bits per colour channel to just 565. This is done because it neatly adds up to 16, which is just 2 bytes of data. The downside of this is that with just 2 to the power of 5, it can only store 32 different shades of red and blue, instead of the original 256 variants, which will make the colour definition worse. But do you see the other problem here? 565 means that not all colours are created equally. So while it stores red and blue with just 5 bits of information, it saves green with 6, meaning that green in-game is preserved better. Why is this? I suspect green was chosen because before we had video games we used to hunt for things in forests, so our eyes have evolved to get better at detecting shades of green, and that's why it's the colour they've chosen to preserve better than the others. But it means that half the possible shades of grey using this colour compression technique are not grey, they're slightly too green or not green enough, which might be why the colours get a bit funky when the decals are layered together too many times like this. I say might be because when you need transparency you need to cram an alpha value of some sort into the pixels as well, so DXT5 might function differently to DXT1, but it still seems to be the case that green is preserved to a higher quality than the other two colours are. So here's my theory on the purple squares. Maybe the green is preserved well enough to not show in the transparent parts, leaving just the red and blue bits behind. Red plus blue equals purple. And hence, purple squares everywhere. Valve please fix. One workaround would be to prevent decals from layering on top of each other like this, but that makes me sad because it means that you can't paint the maps red with the blood of your enemies without older stains disappearing, so that's not a viable solution. The other way to get around this would be to compress the textures less. CSGO doesn't have this console command anymore, but in Half-Life 2, if you use mat underscore compress textures zero, not only do you risk crashing your PC, but it also removes some of the colour artefacts from the decals. Sure, there are still problems, you can see that it's still too green and doesn't fade out smoothly, since the textures, which were bundled with Half-Life 2, were already compressed. But now they've only been compressed once instead of twice. Which makes me believe that, with correct use of this command, along with uncompressed decal textures, we could eradicate purple squares in CSGO once and for all. In short, decals in CSGO turn purple because colour compression goes brrrr.